this is like a preliminary sketch uh, just to get an idea of how I would like to create an oil painting portrait of these uh, chickens which they are my chickens so the first stage it was kind of positioning, proportion, assemble the whole lines, the whole idea together and uh, with a stronger mark I will try to see if I can express the sense of movement that I experience by observing the chicken from life and then by watching back I kind of become a little more acquaintance with more image going through my eyes. It really creates a sense of memories in my mind. Then later I like to reapply in my uh, painting. Okay, see you in a minute. Ciao. At this point, then I finish my sketch, I would like to start to create an uh, oil painting uh, simply by looking my sketch and without transfer the drawing as I did on the previous uh, video. Mm -hmm. So, a little bit bursting. Okay, a little bit oil. So by simply looking my sketch, I want to try to recreate in the same uh, idea directly on my canvas. Uh, the reason is because I want to keep alive a little bit my personal interpretation. And in the same times, the chickens, my chickens, because of these uh, beautiful feathers they have in their heads, it, it really inspires me, it really suggests me to use in this quick movement of brush stroke. So what I'm looking forward into creating this painting, I'm trying to aim similar, similar composition. So by looking and found the center of the canvas, I will automatically find a sense of reference in my canvas. To help in my eyes to visualize the entire drawing, as you can see, I'm trying to see the whole space around. So by looking my drawing, instead of focus of looking the individual chickens, I'm actually focusing more to see the empty space between the chickens. And automatically, it will help to avoid any sort of uh, detail, visual detail. Visual, 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 visual. I'm almost done with my composition and uh, uh, now I'm just going to continue and cover the entire canvas with uh, transparent thin layers of burnt sienna. It is better for the canvas to have already these thin little layers of uh, transparent colors. 
And because the beauty of the oil painting is uh, fresh, is really uh, easy to manipulate, because it doesn't dry quick, it still have the potential to be transformed and keep moving the shape and the sides of this uh, chickens that I'm trying to paint. So while I've been painting this, I would like to show you the protagonist of my subject, which is right outside my door. Let me show you. So I hope you enjoy so far and I look forward to show you the next stage. Okay, so I'm going to start to apply some colors using yellows and violets to slowly appear into the underpainting. I like the idea to start using pure colors from the tube. Make it really transparent and uh, apply directly on the surface, really simple. The, the reason why I like to do it transparent is because I can still see the previous underpainting and uh, the drawing the, is still visible in some point. A little bit more. forward to using yellow and violets to complementing and create a sense of uh, illumination on the painting. Okay, that's, that's pretty good for start to have a sense of impression of the bright part as the, my chicken heart. <laughs> constantly moving in the way they move. I always like the idea that all the colors they get mixed not only on the palette but also within each other directly on the canvas by using the same brush. The canvas is my main palette. It's a beautiful instrument that it gives me the chance to uh, pre-mix, making a certain decision while I'm mixing the colors. But especially in the beginning, I have a tendency to use the same brush as much I mix completely different colors. In this case, will be complementary colors. I'm going to mix a little bit cobalt blue with a lizardy crimson and I found right there uh, a violet, okay? Really transparent. And uh, because it's a dark tone, I want to draw a little bit. My brush. The beauty of creating a color by mixing two colors, as a cobalt blue and a lizard cream, so is that you still have much more option to creating a violet. They could be more red towards red, or more towards blue. So it opens for me a little bit more option to be inventive with the colors without feel imposed by a colors coming out directly from the tube. In this case, a violet. That's why I like to use this 
in a transparent way. I don't want to be too opaque, not in the beginning. Because by using the color transparent, you can only suggest the colors without making too soon, too quick a sense of statement. What I suggest to not use in white. As you can see if I use a little bit more of the blue, when I touch the yellow, automatically create a green. There was not pre-mix on my palette, but it's discovered directly on my canvas. And I think it's a quick and fast way to see the result. And the more important, personally for me, is to stimulate the imagination to looking for different transition, different chromatic transition, without feeling uh, obligated, I should say, with the pre mixing then uh, could be done on the palette. Okay. I'm going to increase a little bit the intensity of the yellow. So as you can see, I was able to create an image so far using pure colors directly from the tube without mixing no colors with white. This is kind of give me an opportunity with a way of creating chromatic effects in my painting and everything without using white. So I'm trying to preserve the white to a little stage will be to use in the same colors, but this time to mix it with the white. And start to open and amplify many different way to uh, founding expression with the colors. I hope you enjoy to see this, my approach so far in this specific painting. And uh, I'll continue from here.
Now, before I will uh, start to transform a little bit the colors, I'm going to mix the same colors that is already apply on the canvas, pick a little bit white and mix directly on the background that I created with this green. And I'm going to touch the canvas, maybe here. Okay. In the same time, it will make the surface of the canvas look a little more opaque, much less transparent. So as you can see, I use a tiny little bit white. With the white, basically, I transform a little bit the brightness of the pure colors. And then uh, I will go back and uh, I look forward to continue and complete the painting from this stage. Ciao!